Every night before I go to bed, Mama combs my hair. I sit between her knees, resting my elbows on her thighs like pillows. Mama is always gentle. She rubs coconut oil along my scalp and slowly pulls the comb through my hair. But sometimes it still hurts. So there she is at the end of the day with her mom combing out her hair. When mama gets to especially tangled places, I try my hardest not to cry, sucking in my breath and pressing my hands together until they're red. So there's a little girl trying not to cry while her hair gets combed out at night. But a few tears always manage to squeeze out. Mama, stop! I cry when I can't stand a comb tugging at my hair any longer. And there she is crying out when it gets too painful. Mama puts the comb down and rubs my hurting places. Then she leans in close to me like she has a big secret to tell. Do you know why you're so lucky to have this head of hair, Kiana, she asks. I shake my head no, because it's beautiful and you can wear it in any style you choose. So there's her mom telling her how beautiful her hair is. I can spin your hair into fine, soft yarn, just like your grandmother's did at their spinning wheels and weave it into a puffy little bun. So her mom says she can make her hair into a bun. Or I can part your hair into straight lines and plant rows of braids along your scalp, the way we plant seeds in our garden. Then wait and watch for them to grow. So her mom says another way that she can style her hair is like braids, which look like rows in a garden. In the morning before we walk to the store, mama adds colorful beads to the ends of my braids. The beads click to the rhythm of my walk, helping me remember what we're going to buy. Tap, tap, clickety clack, milk, bread and peanut butter. So there they are, walking to the store in the morning with her braids. Folks on the street look at me and smile as I dance along to the tap, tap, clickety clack. Music my hair makes just for me. And there she is dancing. And there's a couple of ladies on the street that can see her. Some days I just let my hair be free to do what it wants, to go any which way it pleases. Then my hair surrounds my head like a globe. This is my Afro style. So there she is with her big hair, like an Afro. Once when I wore it, the kids at school teased me. My head felt heavy and I let it hang down low. But my teacher made me feel better. She said that when she was growing up, folks counted their hair as a blessing. Wearing an Afro was a way for them to stand up for what they believed, to let the world know they were proud of who they were and where they came from. So there's a picture of the teacher just supporting her and letting her know that her hair is a blessing. I love my hair because it is thick as a forest, soft as cotton candy, and curly as a vine winding upward, reaching the sky and climbing toward outer space. So there's her hair winding up the trees into the sky.
Today I'm wearing my hair in my favorite style of all. Two ponytails that stick out on either side of my head and flap in the air like a pair of wings. One of these days, I just might take off and fly. So there's a picture with her ponytail and she's flying in the air. And that's the end. And here's a picture of some of the clips that she puts in her hair and the comb that her mom uses to comb. What's your favorite thing to do there? My favorite thing to do there? Well, today this is my favorite thing to do, to read to you guys. But um, my favorite thing to do is to talk to the tenants. Um, I like to help people. So I like to make sure that they have everything that they need. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you, do you take the bus or do you drive to work or go in the subway? I take the bus. So I live in Oakland and the bus is two blocks away from me. I walk to the bus stop and then my bus ride is about 30 minutes into the city. And then I walk from the bus stop to my job. Thanks. You're welcome. My name is Gabby and what was it like when you were growing up? Um, well, I grew up in a small town in called Bulawayo, um, and it was fun. It was cool. I had lots of friends. I was a little bit shy when I was growing up, so um, I didn't talk a lot, but I did have friends. Um, I had two sisters. I'm the oldest, um, so I had two sisters, and what else can I tell you? Um, I don't know, it, it, it was a fun childhood. It's, uh, I like to read. Um, I didn't like school that much, but I like to read and I like to hang out with my friends. Okay. You're welcome. My name is Brody and when you were growing up, what was your favorite book to read? My favorite book. I liked Nancy Drew. Do you guys read Nancy Drew? Have you guys? I bet they have. I read Nancy Drew. They're fun. I like mysteries. I like to find out who, who to solve puzzles and to solve mysteries. So that's why I like Nancy Drew. Thank you. Fun. You're welcome. Any other questions? You have a question? Go ahead. Come on up. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jason, and how many blocks are you away from the Amazon company? Ooh, I, I'm at a drive away from Amazon. I think Amazon is in Mountain View. I have to look it up. I would have to drive there. And we were curious, how long of a walk would it be from Teresa's office to your office? So Teresa's old job was right across the street from my bus stop. So sometimes on the way home, I would stop by her office before I caught the bus. Like it was literally across the street. But now she's moving to a new office, so we're gonna be maybe three blocks away from each other. Okay. So, so I'm excited, because now we get to go to lunch together. Fun. Yeah. Awesome. Teresa's actually read to this class, so they've- Oh, she has? Yeah, yep, so we've gotten to see her office and things like that. Yeah, so that office where she showed, she probably showed you the bridge. Yep. That that was the office that was right across the street from my bus stop. So that's like maybe a 15 minute walk okay. to that office. That's good to know. How many blocks is it? It's hard to tell on Google Earth. Oh gosh, I haven't really counted the blocks. Um, maybe like 15 blocks. Okay. All right, good to know. Well, can we do the roller coaster cheer for 